Greetings from the far side of the galaxy, I'm Fury, your host the most, here to bring you another story about titties. Earlier this week, I asked you what transients you want to see get a limited unit, and here are your answers. The first comment we have today is this one. Freaking Marcosias, do deserve some recognition. It's been like forever since we got anything relative to him since chapter 8 and 9. It's wild how Osamo introduced this guy who was apparently privy to some like great deep secret of the game who was involved in all the child sacrifice and whatever and then did nothing with him. Honestly, if he shows up again, I'm just hoping that we finally learn the name of that kid he's carrying around. The next comment is, I'd like a new Azazel, although honestly, he's probably in a better place than a lot of characters due to his skill quest even though it's pretty old, lol. If Azazel ever gets a limited unit, I hope it's of his true form that we got described to us in the seaside event. Honestly, I expected Azazel to get a special unit for Chapter 13 since it had the missionaries in it. Instead, that went to Tadatomo, and like, I like the guy, but not that much. You robbed us. And going from one dilf at the missionaries to the next, we have this comment. I'd really like to see Arslan get a new 5-star unit. His current 4-star units are pretty dated, and a new event variant could make him relevant again. Arsalan was like one of the first 4-star units I got. I had to use him because he was the only unit I had with any defensive buff. That being said, I wish he got a story-based limited unit, especially for Chapter 14. He's from the same world as Ahura Mazda, and the two of them definitely have different opinions on good and evil with Arsalan seeing more shades of grey. Also, if he gets a limited unit, it should be slash type. All of his units are blow type and it annoys me to no end that the dude with a sword fights with his fist. The next comment is, if Gil and Bursty doesn't get an alt this year, I swear, honestly I don't know what that is. It's too small for me to really tell. Kinda looks like a cigarette or like maybe a churro? I don't know. Sadly, I don't see Gil and Bursty getting a limited unit happening anytime soon. That would require Life Hunters to acknowledge that any of those Year of Summoner characters actually exist. The next comment we have, Njal and Citri. Story-wise, it'd be a bit mean to give them both new stuff at the same time, but I really enjoyed both characters during their story chapter and would love to see them get some love. I agree with you on Narlantatep, it's kind of weird how often he shows up in events only to never be the main focus. At least he did get that one bomb-ass skill evo a little while back. As for Citri, huh, he's a lot like Agyo and Gillen Bursty, forever consigned to the pseudo-space hell we call Event Cannon. Moving on to the next comment, either Lieb or... Masanori, I have grown fond of Lieb's character and his 5 star is trash. For Masanori, it's his turn out of the Dog Warriors to get a unit, so I'm curious to see what they do with the new one. Yeah, I gotta agree with you on Lieb, it's weird he didn't get a limited unit for the Fluffy Knight in Ueno event. He's basically in the entire thing, he's one of the main characters yet he got nothing. Chapter 14 would have been a great opportunity since it focuses on the beast tamers and rules and roles, but fuck me and fuck him, I guess. Going on the pattern Life Hunter set up, there are two events that Masanori might be eligible for. One is Valentine's and the other is Christmas. I'm honestly hoping for Christmas because while Masanori might not be a duck, he would make a very good Scrooge. The next comment we have is this one, Babylon. Homegirl has no 5 stars and her existing 4 stars are questionable at best. It wasn't until I read this comment, but yeah, it is weird that Babylon doesn't have a 5 star. She was the main antagonist of chapter 8. And because Babylon's skills were mentioned, I decided to take a quick look at them to refresh my memory and good lord. You'd think it'd get better with her limited unit, but nope, it just doesn't. She needs another unit or at least a skill evo. That being said, I wouldn't hold your breath. Despite Babylon being really cool, she's not one of the most popular characters in Asamo. I genuinely don't see Life Hunters ever giving her a fourth unit. This comment reads, Please, oh please Life Hunters, please give Bale another altar form, I swear to God. 
Yeah, I can see Bale getting a new unit. It was weird he didn't get one during the Kanan event. Wait a minute. Did you just say alter? Fate player spot and attack mode activate. Our next, much more wholesome comment is... Hecate, our thick, fluffy girl deserves another variant, especially for Halloween since she's a witch. Yeah, I hope Hecate gets a limited unit too. Maybe then Life Funders will finally stop being cowards and let us see her tummy. Going from one hypothetical Halloween to another, I'm probably a bit biased, but I would love to see a Halloween limited unit with Boogeyman. I'm not a huge lore person, but I know he has to scare kids for him to exist, and I'm kind of curious to why he has no Halloween unit yet. While I don't disagree with you on Boogeyman, I do disagree on the Halloween event. It just seems like low-hanging fruit for such a horror character. And now the question becomes, what would be the funniest event to put Boogeyman in? A seaside event? Nah. An island event? No. A Valentine's event? Didn't he technically come from one of those? Clearly, the only... Clearly, the only option we have left is a mountainside event. I know y'all want to see Boogeyman Nike, but he's going to be wearing the thickest coat you've ever seen. Not even going to be able to see any skin. And now we get to what I affectionately call the Gamma Corner, because I'll admit, this may have been a little poorly thought out. Because out of 65 comments, 9 mentioned Ophion, 10 mentioned Garm, 5 mentioned Timujin, 1 mentioned Yule, 0 mentioned Gyobu, and 6 just straight up said Gamma. That is 35% of all comments being dedicated to this man and his units. Because I can only say so much about these characters, I'm only picking 3 comments so I don't repeat myself. The first Gamma character we're talking about is Ophion. I feel like Ophion is most deserving of this. Please, Life Hunters, do something with him. You barely touched him ever since he was added into the game. Yeah, honestly, you're hella right about that. Ophion, despite his popularity, barely ever shows up. He's not in the main quest because he caught an unfortunate case of death, and the only event I can really remember him being in is Ikebukuro Christmas. Despite his popularity, he's severely underused. The second of the Gamma comments we have is this one. Right now, I think the one that really deserves that limited unit is Garm. He is well-liked by the community and even has a voice drama alongside another well-liked character, Moritaka. The fact that he still has no limited unit, plus the only character without a variant from the Berserkers, is insane. You know, it only surprises me when I see how popular Garm is. And yet, despite Garm's popularity, he still doesn't have a limited unit, one of the most basic things Life Hunters could give him. And now, for our final comment of the day. Yule. My sweet, fluffy Santa Reindeer has gone too long without an alt under his name, and I want my boy to finally have his spot in the sun with Krampus here. Plus, that smile of his is too precious to be kept in the dark here. Dude, Yule doesn't just need new alts, he also needs new skins. In the Jiangxi Halloween event, he just wore a Santa suit. Like, that's not a costume if it's literally your job. That's all the time we have for today, but do stick around for our Patreon shoutouts. For our three stars, we have special thanks to 87 Werehog, Deku, Zora Chow, Choron, Dragon King Yara, Garon LeFay, Unknown RC, Lightning Shadow, and Kayun. For our four stars, we have Miki Moon, the Atonement of the Gear Maker. And for our Super D Tooper special five star shoutouts, we have. First, Vanilla Flower, the incredibly fast ninja. Then, Poor Mage, the musician in red. Next, Sky King 64, the noble vampire samurai. And finally, Mahogasaur, the accumulation of goodwill. Thank you for watching, do be sure to like and subscribe and donate to my Kofi and Patreon. As always, this is Rose Fury signing out.